That's right, the Aquatic Update is now officially available for Minecraft on all Bedrock platforms. So the Xbox Store, the Windows Store, the iOS Store, the Android Store, if you don't already have the 1.5 Aquatic Phase 2, you'll have it very shortly off this video, around 30 minutes to an hour at most. So with that said, let me show you the trailer for this update. I thought it was pretty cool, and let's talk about what exactly is inside, uh, because the 1.5 update does obviously bring a few major features, but not everyone is familiar with every single feature in there, so let's go through it one by one, because we have the 1.5.0 changelog for you all. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video, let's get straight into talking about the new features because it is a really strange curiosity of features that you might have assumed came earlier and features that you would have figured were in here but are actually coming later. But let's go through it because we have the drowned, these dangerous underwater zombies lurk in a dark deep water and will come up to the shore at night. Basically drowned are now part of the main game. They did exist in 1.4 but they were experimental gameplay so a lot of people haven't had access until just now. Sea turtles, these gentle creatures can be found swimming in oceans and tanning on beaches. Protect their eggs so more can hatch. The scute item now exists. It happens whenever a baby turtle grows into an adult one and you can use the scute to make the turtle shell. The turtle shell is the official name for what everyone actually calls the turtle helmet. So want to make a turtle helmet? You can now do so. Potion of the turtle master now exists. Nautilus shells can be found while fishing or held by the drowned. Again this actually exists in 1.4 but it was experimental gameplay. Keep that in mind. A lot of these features are going to seem confusingly old because they're new but only new if you haven't been using experimental gameplay, so new to realms and stuff, which is great. Conduits can now be constructed underwater and give players the conduit power effect. Craft them with Nautilus shells and Heart of the Sea. So I made a whole video tutorial on this earlier if you want to see all the steps required, but yeah, they're one of my favorite parts of this entire update. They're perhaps the single coolest part and you should definitely make one pretty darn soon. We also have bubble columns. So bubble columns are, you know, magma uh, blocks creating downward flowing bu bubble columns and soul sand creating upward flowing bubble columns. Basically, again, they're these things that exist in the water that can push water, items, mobs, anything, yourself included, up or down, uh, based on whether there's a magma block under the water or a soul sand block. It's one of the best parts of this and it's kind of great. We have four new achievements and again, they're all pretty basic, but I do love the name of this one. One pickle, two pickle, sea pickle, four, you get it? It's a, uh, uh, anyway, I love that personally. Uh, we also have added new commands that only affect worlds with education edition enabled. So three new education commands, kind of cool. And that's all of the official new features in this update. So again, the main feature, uh, main changes really comes down to turtles, the turtle shell slash the turtle helmet that comes with them, the potion of the turtle master, and stuff like that. So that's like one big part of the features. The second big part of the features is the new bubble columns, so now you can move stuff up and down. The uh, amount of redstone possibilities are near endless. And we also, of course, have the, uh, you know, the, the the conduit, which is my favorite part. It gives you a 50G achievement if you do activate one, and it's one of the great parts of this next update. So yeah, that's the, they're the key features that are listed as new features, but it's worth mentioning in the changes section, a lot of the things, things I was going to talk about in my secret feature video, a lot of things I was going to say is like smaller features that people don't really know about uh, are actually included here. So the one you should be able to spot immediately when you load up this update is that they've changed the menu background to be themed for the update aquatic. Uh, that's obviously a pretty obvious one to see. But we also have undead mobs will now sink in water and can walk on the bottom. So yeah, undead mobs are like, you know, they're, they're zombies, they walk underneath the ocean. It's kind of like a reference to one of George Romero's later movies where they managed to go underneath a moat and get into their civilization. It's a whole thing you can check out. But uh, yeah, basically it's kind of like basically zombies can walk underneath the ocean because they sink they don't float because I guess they're dead there's no air or something I don't know but that's a thing uh, improve the steering of boats when using the keyboard and mouse by pressing W to move forwards and S to move reverse this is only for using mouse and keyboard but it's a lot smoother using boats right now uh, there's a few other secret things I think with boats that again I'm gonna have to check up on and make sure but it is worth mentioning also worth mentioning is that husks that have sunken in water will now transform into zombies and zombies will transform into drowned again kind of cool that you can actually have husks transforming into zombies as well as zombies into drowned. It's that whole drowned origin thing, but you can have that happen twice in a row. I want to do that sometime personally, just to really experience that. We have skeleton horses can now be ridden underwater. Skeletons and strays will switch from range to melee attacks while underwater and switch back when out of water. Coral blocks will no longer die as long as one side is touching water. This is one of the more abusable things. It's really fun. I'll show you how to do it in a future video, hopefully. Uh, we have improved player swimming at the surface of the water. Tr uh, there was a glitch before where you basically like ran on the water but also it, it was weird stuff they fixed that and it's been improved now tridents can now be enchanted using mending and unbreaking this is one of my favorite ones personally because now you can get much more value out of your riptide trident or your whatever in trident but you can do that i love that personally we have added because before this is not really worth using a trident because it's such a undurable thing now that's been fixed we also have added an animation when using riptide in first person perspective that's the new one uh slightly decreased the friction of blue ice that's right faster blue ice is back i'm gonna be playing 
playing around with that pretty darn soon, as you can imagine. Updated the texture of the top of kelp, updated the texture of cooked fish, updated the riptide spin texture. Uh, the default field of view has been diffused, uh, decreased from 70 to 60 and can be adjusted in video settings. This is only true for the mobile devices, I believe. Uh, but again, check your field of view, make sure it's what you want it to be. You can see more if you turn it up, but the game looks better around 70 to 80 on most devices, except phones, where it looks better at 60 according to the developers. Tridents will no longer break blocks in creative mode. If you have a trident out, you try to break a block, it won't be broken anymore, like it is a sword. Good change, in my opinion. And the inventory button has been moved to the top of the store page, so you can actually, you know, go see what you actually own in the store at the current moment. Really cool and positive stuff. So, it's worth mentioning there's a bunch of bug fixes that come along with this. You probably won't notice most of them. It's a huge list, which is good news if you don't like bugs, and I guess bad news if you do like the bugs. And then if we scroll all the way down to the very bottom, we've got updated templates for 1.5.0 with new assets and behaviors, as well as humanoid mobs being now able to hold items in their offhand. Uh, basically, people who make, uh, you know, resource packs, people who make uh, maps and stuff, they'll be able to use and make those in some better ways. So it's worth mentioning the store update hasn't occurred right now. I imagine it's coming out later uh, with this stuff like BD Crop, with Survival Games Origins, with all the stuff uh, that you might otherwise care about. So just, again, keep in mind, the store doesn't update at the same time as the game, and I figured the two updates here would have came out at the same time, but at least not as far as I can tell. That hasn't been the case. So anyway, I'm super excited. I love 1.5.0 just because of the new uh, background screen, and because they made the menu screen so much more appealing, I think four separate options, it's a small thing, but it just makes the game look a little bit, you know, better on consoles. I Switch and Xbox, I think the new background is a cool thing they should do for every update. Have a 1.6 background, a 1.7 background. Uh, I, I, I just love it personally. I would love to see more of these made, and uh, yeah, it's a good sign of progress in Minecraft. I'm super excited to go play it, and you can watch me streaming it later today, because that's what I'm going to be doing, because I'm excited to go make me some conduits in survival. I've said this like 16 times now, and you know why I've said it 16 times? Because I, I like repeating stuff to you. But no, it's because I actually, uh, you know, I am excited. So yeah, see me later today, play in my Minecraft Let's Play world, get me some conduits made. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed this video though. Like if you liked it, subscribe and notifications turned on. If you want to see more videos like this, covering the update, which I'll be doing later on today. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.